This video is intended to be a user guide to the free target PC client software. On how to actually build the free target housing, there is already a video clip available on this channel. This will focus on how to operate the PC software and what its features are. Need a PC to run at least Windows 7. 2 GB of RAM and 50 MB of hard disk space should be enough. It does run on very old 10 year plus laptops. Also, the software can be run on Mac OS using Parallels. It cannot be run on Linux. Another requirement for the PC software is the .NET framework 4.7.2 or higher. It is usually already installed on up-to-date systems, but if you don't have it, be aware that it has a 4.5 GB hardware requirement. The installer will prompt you to install the .NET framework if it does not detect it. First step is the installation. The installation kit can be downloaded from the official website www.freetarget.com on the download page. Go to the menu, hover of the tech support text and the download sub menu will appear. Click on it. Then in the PC software section you will find the download link. At the time of this video the version is 3.3.0. I consider it to be feature complete and no future updates are planned at this time, but uh, never say never. After clicking the link, you will be prompted to save a zip file to the local hard drive. After the download is completed, unzip the archive to a temporary directory and run setup.exe. The installer is very basic. You will need only to indicate the destination directory. After that, click next, 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 and the setup will complete very fast. At the last step of the procedure, a short text will be displayed, indicating the step you have to do manually after the installation is completed. This instructs you to go to the installation directory you have selected at the first step, open the driver subdirectory and execute dpinst amd64 if you're running a 64-bit Windows, 99% of the cases, or dpinst x86 if you're running a 32-bit Windows. This is the Arduino driver that is needed for communication with the target. So you go to this is the installation directory, here is the drivers subdirectory, and click one of these two. Last step of the installation is to connect the target via USB and check the connection. After plugging in the USB cable, Windows should recognize the Arduino. After launching the software by double-clicking the shortcut on the desktop, the first thing you need to do is go to the settings window. This one is done by clicking the gear button on the top right corner. The local settings window will appear. Short parenthesis. This is called local settings because the parameters in this window are saved locally on the PC. In an SQL Lite database, locate in the My Document System folder in the Free Target subfolder. You can see the location displayed in the console. In the same location, there are four subfolders database, where the local database is stored, log, where the log files are saved, PDF, where the reports are generated, and session export, where the session export files are saved more on each later. Back to the local settings window. There are four tabs. General, active events, events and target. On the bottom part, uh, the version information of the software is displayed. At the bottom of the general tab is the communication section. Here the USB protocol is selected by default, but TCP over Wi-Fi is also possible. At the first opening of the local settings window, the software will try to identify the Arduino and it will select the COM port where it is detected. After you close the window, the selection will be saved and remembered for the next times it will be open. The baud rate is set to 155-200. Please do not change this unless you know what you're doing. The other parameters on the general tab are Shooter name. This is the name of the current shooter. The software supports multiple shooters, 
but a shooter needs to remember to change his name here before starting a session. PDF location. This is the location where the session reports are saved automatically. By default, it is in the My Documents Free Target PDF directory, but it can be changed. Distance to target. 100% is the default, meaning the default distance for each event. For example, for a 10 meter air pistol, this 100% means 10 meters. If the target is at 8 meters, you can enter 80% here to simulate the actual distance, but it's up to you to provide a scaled down printed target in the actual target holder. Draw mean group. A flag, if the software should draw a red circle on the screen with the size and position of the shots group or MPI, media point of impact. Display only current target series. Displays only the shots in the current series. 10 shots for a normal match, five or two for a final. If the flag is not set, all the shots in the current session are displayed. Display debug console. Makes visible or not the text area between the target and the timer, this one, where the text information is displayed. Voice commands in finals. Uh, a synthesized voice commands for finals like load, start and stop. Score spoken. After each shot, the score is spoken out loud. Enable logging. If the flag is set, the software saves all incoming messages from the target plus other information in a text log file. A file is created for each calendar day in the My Documents Free Target Log directory. This is very useful if you encounter problems and you need help or support from someone else. I suggest leaving this option always enabled. Ignore misses. The target has an optional phase sensor for detecting hits on the target's housing. If uh, that sensor detects a hit, it will mark the shot as a miss. If this flag is enabled, such a shot is ignored, not displayed. If it is not enabled, such a shot is scored as a zero. Note that you can always find out what an element of a window does by clicking the question mark in the top right corner of a window and then clicking an active element you want to find more about. Like this. The next tab that we'll talk about is the events tab. This tab allows the configuration of events in the PC software. An event is a template for a shooting session. Each event has a name that is the user defined and it is used to identify the event on screen and in the database. The type can be practice, match or final. Decimal scoring if the score has to be displayed and saved with decimals. Number of shots it can be fixed or unlimited. Minus one for unlimited. Target what target is used for this event? This software supports all official ISSF round targets, so no running target. These are all the targets supported by the software. Next is caliber. The caliber of the projectile used in this event in millimeters. So for 22 long rifle, enter 5.6. Duration is the duration of the event in minutes, or minus one for infinite. Color is the color of the event to be displayed in the main window event selection tool, this one on the right. And uh, these are parameters for final, so final shot per series, number of shots in a final series, uh, series duration, the duration of a series in a final, shots in all series, 10, number of shots in the initial series of a final, single shot duration, the number of seconds per single shot, and shot in single series, how many single shots are in a single series shot. Be careful when editing and modifying an event. Uh, the save here is instant, so if you modify and then click save, it's saved automatically to the database, not when closing the window. The software will initialize the database with six basic events. Uh, air pistol practice with unlimited time, unlimited shots, the air pistol target and caliber 4.5 millimeters. The match with the limited uh, 
duration for 75 minutes and limited number of shots 60 and then final with unlimited timer but the timer has a special uh, settings for finals 24 shots 5 shots per uh, final series 20, 250 seconds per final series 10 shots for final series 50 seconds for single shots and 2 shots per final single shot series and then air rifle air match and air rifle final it's the same f like in the air pistol but with the air rifle target you can configure events for other ISSF disciplines by clicking here add new this of course is in relation to what uh, the actual target housing you have built so you have to enter a name a type number of shots this is the most important part select the target for the event are supported air pistol air rifle pistol 25 mi meters rapid fire pistol 50 meters rifle 300 meters and rifle 50 meters then enter the caliber that you are using and other information and click save the next step we'll talk about is the active events in this tab you can select all from all the defined events only the ones that should appear in the main window event selection tool this vertical tab here on the right if your target housing is built for air rifle it is useless to display the air pistol or free pistol events so you just eliminate the the events that you don't need and leave active only the ones that you need of course you have to select an active event here from the ones that are remaining and the events that you selected as active will only appear at the next start of the software after the software has been restarted you see only the selected active active events are now here and the default uh, rifle target is displayed and the last tab is target here you can configure the default event it has to be one of the active events it usually is a practice type event that is started automatically when the software connects to the target the rest of the parameters in this tab are colors to be configured for the displayed target you can change the background maybe you prefer white and the current shot and last shot colors also there is a possibility to assign different colors to shots depending on their score so if it's 10 or 9 or something else this concludes the local setting window by pressing ok here you save all the changes done in the parameters in this window or by pressing cancel you discard the changes on the main window the other button active when the target is not connected is this one firmware upload button using this tool you can upload a new version of firmware to the target Arduino new versions of firmware can be downloaded in the same download page on the website in the Arduino firmware section now it's the release you just click this one and then upload using this tool to the Arduino to connect to the target press the connect button if the connection is successful the target will switch from black and white to color and will display in the bottom status bar the target version string plus the communication protocol and port or address from this moment the software automatically starts a new session for the default event and is able to receive shots from the target you can switch between events from the vertical colored tab on the right of the screen each tab represents an event and by selecting a different one a new session for that event is started automatically this also automatically saves the current session if there was at least one shot registered for the first competition series load start the elements of the main window are the shots list on the left displays the direction of each shot in the form of an arrow the number of the shot the integer score and the decimal score of the shot 
on the bottom left the last score in decimal the direction arrow indicating where the last shot has landed in relation to the center the total number of shots in the current session and the total score uh, windage elevation mean spread and mean radius of the shots group the in the current date and time the main target display showing all the shots with the zoom control at the top the zoom can be controlled via the mouse scroll wheel as well the console on the between the target and the timer with the slider zone so that the display console and the target can be resized and on the right uh, the timer for the current session for finals this displays also the commands the shot grid all the shots in the session are arrayed in a grid by series and at the bottom a shots distribution graph displaying integer scores on a bar chart on the shot grid you can click each individual series to display it on the main target if you have selected all the shots in a session clicking the session name uh, this colored bar at the top of the timer will deselect the displayed series so you can see all the shots in the session or you can click each one individually to see each series and then click here to see them all again when connected to the target the upload firmware button is disabled but three other buttons are enabled the first one is calibration it opens a window where you can shift the shots on the target if the target housing is not built perfectly and you need some adjustment just click the arrows to shift all the shots and recalculate the score just be aware that this kind of shifting does not resolve all the accuracy and misalignment problems the next button is arduino it opens a very powerful tool for direct target control and debugging in the big text area it displays all the text received from the target in raw format and at the top there are buttons that allow you to send commands to the target only use this tool under the supervision of a project expert and the last button is target settings as opposed to local settings these parameters are not saved locally but they are saved in the arduino internal storage so each time you open this window the software asks the target for the current parameters and displays their value in this window after pressing apply settings to target button the software sends all the parameters to the target to be applied immediately the parameters here are on the hardware tab uh, target name select the name for the target from a predefined list this is useful if there are multiple targets in the same location it will also set the name of the wi-fi so that each target has its own wi-fi network motor the type and timings for the witness paper motor for a dc current motor only one parameter is needed and that's time and this is actually the time the motor runs and so indirectly how much paper is advanced for the stepper motor there are two parameters that do the same thing and the uh, led brightness uh, this controls the brightness of the led strip in the sensor tab the sensor diameter is the physical distance between your sensors and uh, sensor z offset is uh, the distance in your target housing between the paper target plane and the sensor plane usually it's between 0 and uh, 10 millimeters and then individual sensor displacement if your target holder build is imperfect and one of the sensors is not exactly where it should be you can adjust its position here all these settings in the sensor tab are the primary way to fix accuracy problems of the target and the last feature is the journal this is meant to be a database for all the saved sessions when the journal button is pressed the software automatically disconnects from the target and the current session is saved 
it prompts if you want to save it or not. The journal window has a drop-down combo box in the top left corner with the names of all the shooters in the database. All the shooters that shot at least one session. Beneath is the session list where all the saved sessions for the selected event are displayed. For each session in the list is displayed the date when it was shot, the ID and its score. That should make identifying a session easy. Make sure you select the right event in the colored vertical tab event selector. So all the sessions of type pistol practice are in one list and then all the sessions for pistol match are in another list. When clicking on a session, all its info is displayed on the right. The info is grouped in two groups. Event information that identifies the event of this session and the session information that shows this particular session data. ID, time, actual shots, windage elevation and so on. On top there are five buttons. Delete deletes this uh, selected session from the database. Load loads this session in the main window. The journal window will remain active, but you can focus on the main window and see where the shots of the session were registered, series by series. So after you load, click the load, each shot will be displayed on the, the main window target. And then after it's loaded, you can click uh, each series to see how the shots were placed. Or all the shots. The print button generates a PDF report for this session in the PDF save location and then runs the system PDF viewer to display it. The report contains all the data of the session including a breakdown of all the series and all shots are displayed. So a big target with all the shots in the session, the session information, and then each series with its own shots and the uh, average time data, shot score, and so on. Uh, the diary button, you can record your thoughts and other external information about this session in the electronic shooting diary. Is this is very useful for coaches. So you can type here whatever text you want, uh, what type of pellets you used, what the location was, what your goal was, what influences and uh, problem solution and so on. And it will be saved for each session individually. And uh, the chart button displays a chart with all the shots in the session on the X axis is the time of the shot and on the y-axis is the decimal score of the shot. So there is a breakdown on when each shot was took and its score. This can be also be useful to coaches. The last element here is the statistics tab. Here are four charts aggregating all the sessions for the current event. The first uh, chart is the evolution of scores. The second chart is the evolution of the mean group sizes. Uh, the third chart is the evolution of windage and the fourth chart is the evolution of elevation. The last two are useful for calibrating the sights on your gun. At the bottom there are two more buttons, import and export. Export generates a text file in the My Documents Free Target Session Export directory with all the information of the current session. You can find it here. The Import button loads such a file and creates a session in the database. These operations are useful if you want to move the information between two computers or you want to backup your data. Another purpose for this import-export feature is when upgrading the database. Version 3xx of the software uses version 3 of the database. In the future, uh, version 4 will need to alter the database structure and so the database version will be changed to 4. When you start 
the new version for the first time, the old database with all your data will be deleted. In order to save your sessions, the software will give you a warning stating that database is about to be overridden. This is the message. When you see this one, stop, do not click OK. Go to the My Documents Free Target database and copy this file to a different location so that it will not be uh, overridden. After pressing OK, the software will start with a fresh database, then uh, uninstall the new version, copy the storage DB file back here with the old uh, software, export all the sessions that uh, you want to save, then reinstall the new version with the fresh new database and then import the sessions back. These are all the features and the full functionality of the free target PC client software. For any bugs that you may encounter or any feature requests, please feel free to contact me on Facebook in the free target group, link in the description, or on GitHub, link also in the description. Please keep in mind that this is a free open source project made in my spare time for fun.